arrived at Valley Parade needing a victory to make absolutely certain of staying in the Premiership. Bradford were already condemned to return to the nationwide. For Dean Windass, there was a mixed reception on his first return to his former club. It's going to be a nervous afternoon for Middlesbrough players and supporters alike as news filters through of the, the Coventry score at Villa Park. Here's Ekiog well forward. And it was a, an easy enough save though for Gary Walsh. And despite the fact that they are already relegated, Bradford will be anxious to try and record a win here. This is a, a good run by Lawrence. Might have given a free kick the referee. Toe poked on Jacobs. Referee allowed the advantage. And Wayne Jacobs has opened the scoring for Bradford. Played wide by Brian Dean. Here's Windass. Headed over. Wouldn't he have liked to score against his old club? Maybe he should have. Well, it's a worrying time for the management. Punched away by Walsh. Carambo! Off the line by Gunnar Halley. Well, Gary Walsh didn't get any real distance with the one-handed punch. And the Frenchman struck it really well. Still Middlesbrough trailing by one goal to nil. Oh, and it's an excellent shot by Marinelli, just on as a substitute. Crowded penalty area for the corner. Carambo. Oh, it's a fizzer. It's 1 1. Carambo delivers with nine minutes left. A vital goal for Middlesbrough's future. It's a nail biting finish to the season for Middlesbrough supporters. And when all is done and dusted, how vital might that goal prove to be? One touch to control it, and a perfect strike. It was unstoppable. Will a draw ultimately be enough? Here's Brian Dean, makes a chance! Hits it wide of that top corner. Well, he'd done really well to make himself a, a sight of Bradford's goal. The points are shared. It's one goal apiece. With Coventry losing against Villa, there was now a straight contest between Borough and Man City to avoid the final relegation slot. But the outcome was decided without Borough kicking a ball when City failed to win their penultimate match at Portman Road.